hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to click the bell so that you can be notified when i upload a new video to all my returning residents a pleasant welcome to you as well thank you guys so much for returning so in today's video i will be doing as you can see from the title an unboxing a review and a demo of my new sandwich maker and this is the Descent brand now it comes with a waffle attachment a sandwich attachment and a grill attachment all of which you'll see in the unboxing and i'll also be showing you guys how they're used so if y'all want to see that follow up coming <laughs> So upon opening the box, the very first thing that came out was the user manual. So the user manual, I found it to be quite easy to understand and it got straight to the point and stuff like that so definitely a decent experience with that So this right here that I'm pulling out of the box is one of the attachments and this right here is a sandwich one and that is what it looks like. So yeah. So here we have the unit itself and as you can see it came you know just nicely packaged the foams and everything just to keep it safe during shipping and so on. So this appliance had a nice modern finish to it. I really liked the stainless steel and the black. To open it it's just a latch at the bottom and just flip it up and it will open really easy and there we have the grill plates being exposed also made of non-stick material which is really great now at the bottom that right there is the temperature gauge and you know that's one of the reasons why I chose this unit is so that I could adjust the temperature if I wanted to so that was a really nice feature as well so right there at the sides, those are what I would push in order for the plates to actually detach from the unit. So just give it a push and the plates will come loose. And having removable plates made this unit really easy to clean as well. So there are some anti-slip attachments at the bottom just to make sure that the appliance stays in place while it's in use. So of course, as you can imagine, we've already been through the sandwich and the grill attachment. So this is the final attachment, the waffle. And I am so super duper i i i am ecstatic can't wait to use it i'm 
I mean, I can't wait to use all of them, but I think I'm a little bit more excited about the waffle because, you know, this was like the motivation initially. This is really, really what I wanted. And then I was like, hey, why not get all three instead of just one? <laughs> but yeah, super excited to see that. So super happy so far. So this definitely was an oversight, the stand at the back, which is amazing because this definitely helps to save a lot of counter space. And of course, counter space is always important. And I mean, this unit gets points for that. So in preparation for making the waffles, I had to basically slide those things which is called the locking plate and that right there is a locking pin and it goes into the hole right there, slide it into what's called the hinges and just press down until you hear a snap and basically the same thing for the top piece as well. So once the appliance is plugged in, both the red and the green light came on and when the preheating process was complete, the green light went out. Now, I was instructed to just apply a little bit of oil to the waffle maker, you know, just to make sure that it doesn't stick or anything. Also, after that, I just went ahead and adjusted the temperature to my liking and I put it at the highest one. So smoke with the first use of this unit is completely normal as was explained by the user manual. So you're completely good to go. Just apply your batter and move on. So based on the design of this appliance, there is little chance of oozing out the sides, so no mess or anything. And then once the bottle was ready, the green light would come on and then we have our waffles. So I must admit that the preset cooking times were not long enough, so especially for the waffles and the grill, the waffles I noticed that when the green light went off, it was not crispy enough and I like crispy waffles. However, I was able to just put it back and I got them to be as crispy as I wanted them to be. And what I just made were some chicken burgers for my family. I noticed also that when the green light went off, that they were still underdone. So like almost medium rare. And you don't know, sir, we're Jamaicans. We don't do medium rare anything. So we did have to put them back until they come out nice and crispy. Yes. So I'm sure you want to know, is it worth it? So the answer is definitely yes. These are just some pictures of what I was able to create using this appliance. So if you haven't already followed me on Instagram, please do so at Kadisha underscore Hansen to see more of my creations.
Also, at the time of releasing this video, this unit cost me $48.99 on Amazon and as I mentioned before, the link is in the description box below. So, if you enjoyed that video, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more amazing content. As always, at the corner of happy and healthy is where you want to be. I'm your girl, Kadisha. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.